In this video, we're going to talk about simple probability. We're going to go over some vocabulary, talk about what simple probability is, and then talk about complements. First, some vocabulary. An experiment, when we're talking about probability, is an investigation or procedure with varying results. Examples might be flipping a coin, picking a card out of a deck, spinning a wheel. That's an experiment. Outcome is a possible result from an experiment. So if, for example, if we're flipping a coin, the outcome might be landing on heads. If we're drawing a card, it might be the outcome is drawing a spade. And spinning a wheel, the outcome might be landing on a blue space. Sample space is the set of all possible outcomes. For example, with the flipping a coin, the set is heads and tails and we put it with little squiggly brackets like that. Those are all the possible outcomes from flipping a coin. Probability is the measure of a chance of a specific event occurring. How likely it is it that something's going to occur? And it's noted as P parentheses E parentheses, and this would mean the probability of E happening. It's the ratio of favorable outcomes to the total number of outcomes. This can be written as a fraction, decimal, or percent. Let's take a look at some examples. The spinner below is used in a game. If it is spin, spun once, find each probability. And you can see that there are 16 spaces. So the sample space would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. The first question asks us to find the probability of landing on 9. So it's the number of favorable outcomes over the total number of outcomes. So there is one space here with nine on it out of 16 total spaces. So there's one space that has the result we're looking for out of the number of spaces that there are. Now let's take a look at the probability of at least 12. So at least 12 would include 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So there are one, two, three, four, five elements that are our favorable outcome of at least 12 out of a total of 16 spaces. A perfect square. The perfect squares are ones where we take the square root and we get an integer, or I could make a square out of that many blocks. So that's 16, 9, and 4. Oh, and one. Poor one, we always forget him. So there are four elements that are our favorable elements out of the 16. Now, we should always reduce if we can, and four goes into four one time, and four goes into 16 four times. So the answer is one fourth. Probability that it is not shaded. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, favorable outcomes that are not shaded out of 16. And then our last probability of simple probability is 2 or 11. So there is one space that is 2 and there is one space that is 11. So there are two favorable spaces out of 16, which reduces to 1 8. Finally, let's talk about the complement of an event. Now, this isn't complement like, you are so pretty. This is complement as in the other half, the thing that complements you. Like peanut butter and jelly complement each other. The complement of an event is the probability of the event not happening. This is sometimes denoted with a apostrophe, like there, probability of not E or sometimes there's a squiggle, or sometimes they just say, what's the probability that it doesn't happen? So let's look at some examples. If the probability that it will rain is five eighths, what is the probability that it will not eight, not rain? So if there's five out of eight days that it will rain, then there are three out of eight days that it will not rain. So three is what we'll add to the five to get eight. So that is the probability that it will not rain. A number is chosen at random from one to 20. 
what is the probability that it is not prime? Well, let's start looking at the prime numbers. So we have two, three, five, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Those are our prime numbers. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight that are prime out of 20. So that means there are 12 out of 20 that are not prime. And we can check that real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve out of 20 that are not prime. And we can divide both of those by two to simplify it to be six tenths. And then we could divide it again by two to simplify it again to be four fifths. So that is the probability that it is not prime. Hopefully that gave you a good overview of simple probability.